Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead, and today's video is about how to set up conversions on Microsoft Ads for lead generation. Now, this one's going to be based on when someone hits a destination URL. So going over the last video, we set up the base code or the UET tag, which is basically the Microsoft pixel that will go across all your pages. So we can go back, and what we wanna be doing now is going up to tools and then conversion goals. And the reason why you wanna be setting up your conversions is so you can track and analyze your data. So we're going to go to create and we're gonna to go to website, next, conversion type. Now there are so many types, but this is just gonna be for lead uh, form submissions for lead generation. Click on there. And this video is gonna be about destination URL. The next one's gonna be about event. Now I prefer event, but most of the time when I see accounts, most people are just using destination URL because they just don't have the understanding of how to set up the events. So we'll start off just with destination URL, which is quite simple, similar to Google Ads or Google Analytics if you're just using the URL string. We go to next and we'll just call this ad uh, lead submission and you can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it destination URL example. And this is where we basically put the next thing. And so the destination URL will either be equals to begins, contains, or regular expression. Now, or equals to is actually really good if you know the exact thing, but if there are any issues there, you may be missing out. Most of the time with uh, tags or triggers, I'll actually use contains because that way I can get a unique string that I know will only fire on conversions or similar conversions. And that way it covers basically everything. So for example, if I was just doing one, it'd be marketlead.com.au. Let's just say it's thank you. And that's just when someone submits a form, that could be equals to. But for example, as we see, if it's not a HTTPS double slash or with www, that will be missed out on. Now, if it has begins with, that's an issue. Regular expression can be fine, but I prefer just contains. And what I'd be doing is because I know only some would come to the thank you page if they've done something that there's no other pages like blogs or anything called thank you, I might just have slash dash thank you, or I could just like has slash dash thank or even just thank. It depends what you want. I usually go for something that I know is simple enough to capture everything that's possible but not too much where it captures something that's not a lead. So I'll just go to maybe just thank you. Or I could actually once again do slash thank. Now we want to go down to revenue, don't assign a value. Going down here, account, I usually like to do unique. So it just avoids double counting. That's a big issue in paid advertising. Double triggers, double counting, double firing. Uh, going down to conversion window, I usually like using a longer conversion window, especially for B2B or B2C that have like a longer buying cycle as well that has a consideration period. So maybe 60, maybe 90. I just go for 90 and just keep going down. Obviously, the attribution is very limited, so it's either last touch or last conversion. Uh, I'd like to actually know what those definitions are classified as, uh, but we can go and I'll just leave it as last click because that's quite standard. And then we go to next. And basically I just need to make sure that this has been set up on the GTM or on the website, which it has been in the past. So you can just go, yes, it's already been installed and then go save and next. And then it's done. So basically now, because that base code has been added to the website, anytime someone goes to the slash uh, thank, it should show it over here. Or if not, you can just go back into the uh, conversion is anytime someone goes to any page with slash dash thank, uh, this conversion will fire. Now that's really simple, but if you have more sophisticated things more than like if someone submits a form, if you don't have like a destination changing, that can be an issue. And with most websites now, there are more touch points or triggers that will cause conversions purely more than just destination. So that's how you do a destination setup. I'm gonna leave it there. The next one's about how to use events in Google Tag Manager and Microsoft Ads as well. So I'll leave it there. If you've got any questions, please let me know. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au. 